Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to set up your iPhone, iPad, or other iOS device with the Zimber server for mail, contacts, and calendars. To start, you need one piece of information, which is your Zimbox server number. Uh, one way to get that is to go to your web browser, either on your mobile device or on your computer, and sign in to webmail. Once you've signed into webmail, you can go to the address bar in your browser and you should see a server name. Um, you'll see I'm, I'm on zimbox 03vassaredu Yours might be a, a different server name. If you don't see the server name in your address bar on your PC or on your mobile device, you can call the help desk and they'll tell you which Zim, Zimbra server you're using. Alright, so I've got my server number. Now I'm going to go set up my account. So I'll go back to my home screen and I'll go to settings. In settings I'm going to go down to mail, contacts, and calendar and then I'll tap on add account. I will tap on Microsoft Exchange and I'll type in my email address, my username and password, don't put anything in domain, and I'll just put it in a description too, it'll just be uh, Vassar Zimbra. Okay, so I've got my account information entered in, so now I'll tap on next. And it'll take a moment, it'll verify your account, and this server field will pop up. This is where you would put in the name of your Zimbra server, so I'm using Zimbox03, so I'll put in Zimbox03 dot vassar dot edu and you'll put in your appropriate Zimbox number. Again I'll tap on next it'll verify that account. Now I have to make the choice of what items I want synced with my Zimbra account. I can choose to have everything synced, mail, contacts, and calendars. If you do choose to sync your contacts um, it'll wipe out anything that you have in your phone um, for contacts and it'll sync from Zimbra's address book. So if you don't want that to happen, don't um, make sure contacts are set to off. I'm going to leave mine set to off as well. Also, if you have any other calendars set up on the iPhone or the uh, iOS device, it will wipe out those calendars as well. Um, so just uh, just be careful and make sure that you're not going to wipe out anything that you that you want to keep on your phone. It will give you warnings um, if you're about to erase what's on the phone. So I'm going to go ahead and click on save. So it's going to configure my sync for me. And now I'm going to go back into my account and set one more option here. So under mail days to sync, I'm going to set this to no limit so that it pulls in all my email from my email account and I'm all ready to go so now I can uh, head back to my home screen I can open my mail program and the first time you open mail or your calendar it's going to take a little while for everything to be downloaded to the phone so if you're uh, if you're sitting here at your screen for a while and you don't see anything um, just, just remember it's going to take a little while for it to pull all of your email down. So I've got my uh, email here. If I go to my calendar, I've got my uh, schedule here. So this is syncing with my Zimbra calendar. And again, it's going to take a little while for it to pull in all that information and populate my calendar. But I'm all set up and it's all ready to go. Thanks for watching.